Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through um, uh, we're going to go through some of our vendors. So at this point, uh, <coughs> I would like to introduce to you uh, Linda Piagas, and we've only got you know maybe five minutes or so that we can go through on each one of the vendors. But she would like to talk with you a little bit about what she has to offer you. So thank you very much, Linda, for uh, thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Linda Piagas. I publish. Realty 411 magazine, which has an alternate cover as well called Real Estate Wealth. And we also publish Cash Flow Express. I live in Solvang, California. And this is my local RIA today. Uh, we're promoting MMG Capital. We have some nice toads for you. So please come join me at my booth during a break. And I can tell you a little bit more about um, our publication. We also have two property tours coming up. We're going to Kansas City, Missouri um, next month as well as uh, Atlanta, Georgia in May. So if you're interested in looking at properties there, please let me know. Thank you. Yes. The last uh, meeting that you had up north where Sensei was working with you yes. on that, how many people again did you have there? We had 250 wow. people. Um, and we had 25 vendors from around the country, some of the biggest and largest uh, real estate companies were there, such as Equity Trust, Home Investors from Texas. We had a great turnout, and people were so motivated, they purchased properties on the spot wow. in San Jose, California, and Silicon Valley. Wow. And we actually are steering them toward our property tours in KC and um, Atlanta now, so a lot of them are going to be joining us in those areas for the property tours. And when are you coming back here for an all-day event? Oh, we're going to be back here July 13th for an all-day expo with tons of vendors from all over the country, and we're very excited. We have some very important people coming very important companies joining us on July 13th. So please come, we need your support. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> when, you, when she comes back in July, it's gonna be in this room, okay? So instead of having our evening meeting in July, we will have an all day, well from 10 till about four, right. um, Saturday event where there'll be a lot going on. There. So you're gonna want to, in July, definitely come back out for that. So thank you, then. Thank you. In fact, she's the person who inspired me to get out of the little cracker box downstairs <laughs> in Fest Parker up here. Thank, thank you girl. very much. Okay, and uh, we do not have Brandon here, so uh, Dean, would you like to speak a little bit about uh, what you got here for everybody? <coughs> Dean Henderson. Well, everyone has seen me, well, not everyone, but uh, I've been in these meetings now for a few years, and uh, my name is Dean Henderson. Um, a little backstory about the product that we have here today, um, about me presenting it to you guys. Dan called me up one day and he says, um, do you have any products that uh, you want to be a vendor at, at, the, at the real estate meeting? And I said, you know, Dan, I, I'm a struggling real estate investor just like everybody else. And um, I don't feel comfortable about, you know, I don't have anything to teach anybody else about real estate. Um, and I don't have any products that are real estate related. He's like, well, what do you got? And I'm, well, um, I have this product. It's a, it's a skincare product, and uh, you know, it's totally un unrelated to real estate. And he's like, he's like, well, um, people are making face uh, uh, videos on, on uh, YouTube, and they need to look their best, right? That's right. And so, you know, and and realtors need to have a better look to them when they present the, the properties, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of a stretch, but I, you know, I, I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so here I am. Um, this is an accidental discovery. They were trying to find a cure for skin cancer, of all things. And what it turned out to be was it didn't cure the, the skin cancer, but it actually rejuvenated the skin like nothing they've ever seen. Um, it had independent um, 
studies or independent uh, tests on this by ST&T Research, and the average reduction in wrinkles was 30%. Now that's average. Some people experienced 40, 50, 60% reduction in wrinkles. Some people a little less. Um, I've been using the product now for uh, going on five months, but I experienced the most massive results between 30 and 60 days. You guys might not know this, but I'm actually 72 years old. Yeah, so uh, the product's called Miriam. It, um, it's an all-natural product. We have free samples back here for people that are interested, uh, seven-day trials. Um, come back and talk to us and, and find out more about the product. Okay. Thank you. Now you know if you read Think and Grow Rich, probably most people have read that. What's the number one item that he said was at the top of the list that was most important above anything? Yeah. <laughs> it was actually well, it was close. It was the number one thing was health. If we don't have health, if we don't have our health, all the money in the world, all the work in the world, all the deals in the world, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to get to the party. You can't go. You just don't have the health. You know? <laughs> this is anybody here that has any business at all, we would like to help promote that business because no matter what you've got, somehow there's a connection to everything that we're all doing. Okay? So if somebody saw this tonight and said, gee, I'd like to get here and promote my business, please get back to me. Let's get you up here. That's what we're here for. Okay? So yeah, I uh, appreciate the help. In fact, we had somebody a couple months back come in with uh, tower gardens for growing vegetables. We've got one now. Michael's putting it together. Hey, Michael. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have uh, you know fresh vegetables in our house for our help. That's an investment. An investment in your health. So thank you, Dean, very much. We really do appreciate you stepping up and doing that. And I know he didn't want to. I did have to twist his arm. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on here and get Sensei up, but what I would like to do, because Sensei is going to probably want to plug in a memory stick or his computer or whatever, so I'm going to give you guys about five minutes and then I'm going to yell and scream and whistle if I have to get you back to your seat. Once Sensei says, okay, Dan, let's do this, then we'll get you back. You guys can go get some more wine, some more food. Is the food all gone? It's all gone already. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, see, we had, I'll tell you guys, to be honest here, and we're going to put it on video, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Gus Parker said, you guys can't bring your own food in. Now, you remember last month we had fruit, we had cookies, and we had all kinds of stuff. And Gus Parker said, oh, no, no, no. we got to serve it. we got to charge it. you got to pay. So we have a little bit less because, as you know, this whole thing is, a, is pretty expensive. And that's why I'm trying to get a little bit of money from all the vendors, a little bit of money from the speakers, a little bit of money from everybody who shows up, so that nobody has to pay a lot. Everybody can pay a little bit. And we just keep growing this thing as we go. Now, they told us they were going to serve the wine, and they came in here and said, well, actually, we're charging $10 per bottle, but you can serve it. Yeah. So what else does that mean that we can do? I don't know. We'll find out as we can grow, right? <laughs> so why don't you just bring, now. yes. You should ask everybody make a commitment to bring one, just one friend next time. Well, you know, and, and that really is a good point, because, because really, if we want to be able to keep doing this, and you say, well, Dan, what can I do? The best thing you can do is, is what Anna says, is to bring a friend, you know, or tell a friend so that we can continue. Because I really want to get this up to about maybe 50 or 60 people, and then after that, that's it. I'm not going to go over 300 people and have us all downstairs in something that's very unintimate, with no patio, and no fresh air, we'll pull the curtains back. That's enough, you know. 50 or 60 people, that's enough for me. I love it here. That's my goal. So if you can bring some more people in, then that will help us get to that point. And if we do a 300 thing, it won't be mine. <laughs> I might be down there and part of it just kind of hanging out, but this is my thing here, okay? My, my promise to you, what I'm doing. So why don't you grab a little bit more wine, some wine back there, use the restroom, this down the hall to the right. Uh, I'm gonna get Sensei. Sensei came up from, where are you living? Inland Empire, Corona. Inland, Inland Empire. Why don't you give Sensei a hand? Let's get you going.
Well, you guys just you know, grab some wine, do whatever you want to do, network, talk to your, your neighbor there, and then we'll get you going. Uh, I think so.